have uh, hopefully a short meeting tonight, but uh, I'm going to go briefly into executive to give an update to the board where we are in the contract negotiations. Uh, and then we're going to come out into open session and uh, give a little update. And then um, we'll go on with the agenda that was revised today, which is a... Uh, there's an appointment letter for the interim acting town manager, effective January 1st, and then uh, a, a discussion on the uh, Red Lion Inn incident at uh, December 22nd. And then we have a license that slipped through the cracks. So we're going to amend our agenda on the topics not reasonably anticipated by the chairman 48 hours in advance to take that up, and that is uh, John Scott, manager of One Brook Street. Is that the firm? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, uh, and then um, adjourning. So, um, can I uh, have a motion to uh, go into executive session? And I'll I'll state before that motion that uh, that having this in um, open session would jeopardize our negotiations with non-union personnel or contract negotiations with non-union personnel. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, I need to poll the board. Steve? Aye. Diane? Aye. Fred? Aye. Karen? Aye. Martha? Aye. And we'll be coming back out into open session, so we'll try to go as fast <laughs> as we can for you, okay? So we're just going to. Uh, Okay, thank you. Okay, we're back in open session. It's eight o'clock. Give an update. Um, we're still in working out some legal technicalities in the contract, but we've made good progress. Um, we're just in executive session, the board discussing some of those legal technicalities. Uh, we don't think it's anything that's going to stop it from going forward. Um, next item, so we won't be ratifying the town manager contract tonight because it's still in the works with uh, working on some legal technicalities. Um, <coughs> next is the discussion of the appointment letter of the interim acting town manager effective January 1st. So the uh, Civil Service Commission had asked us to put something in writing that uh, defines the powers that we're giving to um, Chief Sylvia as interim acting town manager. And with uh, town council's um, help, we drafted this letter and let me read it. Um, Dear Chief Sylvia, this letter certifies that the Coasset Board of Selectmen on December 23rd, 2013 at a duly scheduled meeting voted to appoint you to the position of, of interim acting town manager effective at 12.01 a.m. January 1st, 2014 for a term to extend until the appointment of the permanent town manager estimated to be January 13th, 2014 with administrative duties and powers limited to signing documents, signing warrants, and managing department heads. Could you, uh, could, could I ask the board to re have a reconsideration? Okay, so let me, let me do that as a separate issue, Martha. Martha would like to uh, reconsider that vote we took last time that would make it unanimous, I think, if, it, if the vote board so chooses to do that, but why don't we take it up right after this letter, because that's not going to change. Well, yeah, but the vote should be before the letter. 
Well, we're going to have to redraft this whole letter. Oh, then. then. Okay. Because it's the wrong date, then, if we take another vote tonight. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, right. that, I know that's, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I, okay. It was I an affirmative that. vote, yeah. nonetheless. It was an affirmative so, yeah. vote. I, I didn't say whether it was unanimous or not, so we can deal with that right after this. But okay. what I'd like now, if this letter meets the satisfaction of the board, a, a motion to. Uh, could I just clarify managing yeah. department heads? That doesn't mean any hiring or firing power. I, I, That's an interesting distinction because the town manager act allows mm -hmm. for hiring and firing even in an acting situation because it's silent on there. That was always um, my advice from council. This is more limited than, than the powers of the town manager act and that, you know, I suppose can be challenged, but I thought the intention of the board was to do Oh, yeah, no, I, yeah. administrative so only, but is, I guess I just what, wanted to this ensure. This is the vote that we, the intention of the vote we took on the 23rd. It's Correct. reflected in this letter, so. So managing, managing. just to, just to, it's, it, it, just to it, get it on the record, ma managing it's, it's, is it, managing the day-to-day -day yeah. necessary, that's everyday operation yes. of the town. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if that's acceptable to the board, I'll entertain a motion. So moved. So moved. Do we have a second? Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's five to zero. <coughs> Martha, I'll, ma I'll make a motion to reconsider our vote um, that we took on this matter. It was three to two. Um, do I have a second on the reconsideration? Martha would like to vote in favor of it. Second. Any discussion? Um, okay. I would just like to thank Martha for bringing it up because um, it's what I'll refer to as the nutting principle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that um, you know we should each have our 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 say and and uh, make our vote, but. Um, that on important votes like this, the board should come together and support. So. Oh, thank you. Okay. So it's two votes actually. The first one is to reconsider. All right. those in favor of reconsidering? Aye. 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 Opposed. So it's five to zero to reconsider. The main motion then. All those in favor of appointing Chief Sylvia as interim acting town manager per the, per this letter. We need a second. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. All those in. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So it's five to zero. <coughs> Thank you. Can't borrow that pen. Now you got a red pen. <coughs> Tracy, could you make sure that ends up in the right spot? Thank you. Um, public comment. Can we have a copy of the letter? Sure. Uh, can you make? Oh, you can either make copies of the one I signed. Yeah. <coughs> um, Public comment? Okay. Um, next time in business uh, at 7.20 p.m., uh, which we're running behind, a uh, letter, a uh, uh, discussion of letter from Acting Police Chief Quigley dated December 22nd regarding an incident at the Red Lion Inn on December 22nd to determine if further investigation is warranted. I, I did <coughs> talk to Chief Acting Chief Quigley today um, who felt that, uh, I mean, it, my intention of putting this in here was to have the board discuss whether they wanted further investigation on uh, anything having to do that with the report that we received on that Sunday. This is the incident. Yeah, and then. Um, this is, this, is sat this one's Saturday. It says Saturday, December 21st. Well, it happened it, 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 uh, at, just after midnight also. So, so. Okay. The incident was Into the, Sunday. the it's evening. Yeah. Day. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, and then the other part of the discussion would be: Do we just have sufficient information in order to just request that we um, have some type of formal hearing on it? Um, didn't we have an email from town council today in that regard? Um. I don't know. I, oh, one that I had. Um, yeah, I, I did. I received uh -huh. something. That was, that's a different. Oh, is that a, a different incident? But I think that was it was. Um, there, I thought there was some. There was something. I've yeah. just got to find it. Um, I have it here. And, and just let me say for the public why there's a little bit of. Uh, we we, we want to make sure we get the procedure right on this, and I'll use the. Barrack example of the entertainment license we had a report of a violation we got a letter to the board about a violation of sound and that we looked at that and decided we needed further investigation and we asked it to be investigated and then the report came back to the board 
and I'm going a little bit out of sequence here because actually we were told that we weren't getting cooperation and we were asked to vote on something without a report in the hopes that we'd get cooperation and then we'd get a report. But the correct procedure is that, or an alternate procedure, is that w when an incident comes to our attention, if we have questions about it, we ask that it be investigated. <coughs> And then, and then the investigation comes back on our desk at an open meeting, and we discuss whether we want to have a hearing on it or not, or if we have enough information with the investigation. So then if there is a hearing, then the opposing counsel will then get copies of the investigative report so that they can defend their client. <coughs> so where I wasn't clear was whether this report that is in front of us um, there seem to be some questions. Yeah, can you read that last paragraph? Out first? loud? Yeah. Uh, Where's the come from? I, I, well, maybe you I, should. I, I yeah, yeah, should. Yeah, don't I, read that. I'm sorry. No, I have it. I have a copy of it and ready if you want to look Yeah, no, but it's... No, but it's, um, we shouldn't refer to it because then there's right. an issue of it becoming... Okay. Attorney okay. 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 Yeah, right. so, so, so um, the matter right now is that we, we did get an email on... on uh, was it a week ago Sunday? Mm. From the acting town manager... Uh, yeah, that I was uh, from the police from chief there. to the acting town manager to us. And it was about an incident at the Red Lion. Tracy. Um, when we had it, we got it on December 23rd. Yeah. Okay. So, what does the board feel about it? Um, I think we should have further investigation. Um, That's my understanding, is that that there needs to be further investigation. Yeah. So we'd, so we'd just like some clarity uh, yeah. on right. what exactly clarity. happened from yeah. not I, not just the police report, but incident. somebody just look at it and say, tell us this is, this is the facts. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it has to be, uh, the questions need to be, there has to be facts, there has to be a formal investigation, not just a police report. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, lo I look at it in another way, too, that allegations have been made, they've been printed in the local newspaper, and an investigation is, is more detailed and brings evidence forward. Um, maybe it's the same as the police report. Um, maybe it's better or worse. But at any rate, then the Red Lions attorney receives that information and can defend against it. Yeah. Okay, any other... I'm just doodling. No. Okay. <laughs> the charges are serious from the police report. Hindering a police investigation, no licensee of the sale of alcohol beverage, alcoholic beverage, mm -hmm. permitted disorder, disturbance, or illegality. Um, the uh, police report indicates that the manager uh, himself uh, refused to answer questions because he was concerned about his impairment. I dare say if it happened <clears throat> at any other place in any other town, it would, it would be duly investigated. My larger concern, as I discussed with you this afternoon, Fred, was that heaven forbid anything should happen at any establishment that sell, sells uh, alcohol over the bar such that a, a third party is injured and it were, it were seen that we did not move in a affirmative and proactive manager, manner in the, as a licensing authority. Um, fair enough, if the board thinks that there's more investigation needed, I'm not sure what, what more we will find out, but proceed, but I will continue to push for a hearing on it. Well, I, I, I think the, um, I, I look at this and I think there's a little confusion around investigation. I see, there was a detail there and an incident reported to us and we by all means want to have that looked into but there was that an investigation it's referred to in the report as an investigation I don't I frankly don't see a detail officer being an investigator on his own that's arrest. fair that's that's fair enough so my, my my point however is that we there is there is certainly a preponderance in front of us 
to move forward. Oh, absolutely. I mean, to, yeah. to say that we no, this is fine. We don't need an investigation. See you later. I don't think anybody's saying that. I think nobody. No. It, I think it, what we're saying is that we'd like some more information before we say, yeah, let's um, let's forward this and have a hearing to their council. Um, I, I would point just out, that, however, that we did we have, and this may be an item of procedure that we need to clarify. We have found that um, in previous votes, the board has authorized uh, duty officers to be uh, our, our alcohol. Oh, I'm sorry, are you raising your hand? Yes. Go, Go ahead. ahead. No, no, no. No, no, no. I, I, I'm feeling very um, skittish about yeah. what if, I mean, we, we have been advised by council on, on, on sort of next steps, which yeah, is yeah. to continue an investigation, yeah. which appears to be happening. Yeah. And one of the things the police chief, um, acting police chief, did ask us for was some immediate action items. He sent us a letter updating that yes, just before that. we got here tonight, saying yes. that he was sa satisfied that that was going to take place right. so Thank that we did not have yeah. to take immediate action in terms of providing detail details at all their events that, that they were working that arrangement out themselves to yeah. his satisfaction to Bill Quigley's satisfaction yeah so I think the I matter mean, of a from hearing my perspective I would just like to I, I have I've read the whole report of the incident I'd like to just have our investigator just interview some of the people there to get just so we have some other sides of the story in the report to look at then we decide. Yeah, and then we then we take it back. Comes in front of us. We decide whether we're having a hearing or not. And and then um, and I know to some people in the audience it may seem that we have enough already. But I I, I still think if it's a question of due process, making sure we're crossing the t's and dotting the i's, that be done right because there's serious consequences if it goes to a full hearing and and there's something comes out of it. Well, let's. Yes. I have a question. Yeah. Agnes McCann, 104 Jones Street. There's a there's a police report. Yeah. And a police letter, a letter from police, acting police. Chief. Yes. And you're asking for an investigation, further investigation by the police or by uh, someone you. By the detective that by usually okay. does our investigation. Okay. Yeah. That wasn't fair. Yeah. Thank you. That sounds right. Yeah. So let's move it along. Okay. Um, We, well, we do, but we have to make sure that there's cause for hearing. In other words, right now we just have one side of the story. We need to have kind of a fuller view of uh, the, the arresting officer was on duty and um, as a, a detail. And so we just, I, I, I think there's just some more information that we need to understand what happened. My understanding, there wasn't an arrest. Is that right? Okay, well, you're right. So, so it was, it just some more story than just the, um, I mean, more than just a report of which I understand. So you're looking for corroboration. I yeah, I think that it. Matter of fact, I think it shouldn't be the report. Is what I'm being told now. So we're we're. Um, it should be something else. You have an incident report that he's investigating. Sure. Yes, yeah. So do we have a motion? So what What's the motion? To, 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 to authorize, to, to, to get more information? Yeah, to get just, forward with an investigation? Yeah, just to get, yeah. like, f more fully understand it, yeah. I'll move that the, the matter from um, December 22nd, 23rd be further investigated. One and two. December 21st, 22nd. December 21st and 22nd. Be further investigated. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's five to zero. So is there a time frame on, on the investigation? Uh, well, I understand uh, that town council would prefer that once an investigation is complete and it comes in front of the board, and the board votes to have a hearing that it the ideal is that it be given to the opposing council with 10 days notice so they can prepare for the hearing 
but I think Mary, were you just to clarify, you were asking about it uh, for the for the investigation. Um, that it depends on the workload at, at the uh, police department. But I assume it would happen forthwith. Um, under topics not reasonably anticipated by the chairman, 48 hours advance, we have a uh, common vehicular's license that we uh, fell through the cracks here, uh, and it is from uh, John. Certify that J and L Inc. doing business as Village Butcher and Deli. John Scott, manager, One Brook Street, is hereby granted a common vehicular license uh, effective December 31st. Can I have a motion on that? So moved. Second. A second. Any in discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Thank you. Uh, yes. Thanks. Uh, next board selectmen's meeting is the January 7th, 21st, and 28th. Um, we have a motion to adjourn. So moved. We have a second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you.